So hi guys, Lou Beltran here, the IT veteran, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing to you the network topology and how we plan to initialize and install all of our unified networking equipment for this hotel solution. So what I'm going to be sharing to you today is the network topology and uh, the step-by-step -step plan okay, and how we're going to do this. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and uh, show to you guys how the network will uh, come out once we have completed all of our setup. So let me just share my screen here. Okay, so as you can see, um, I have uh, drawn this one using Microsoft Bishop. So here, here's our two Unify USG Pros. Now, why do we have two Unify uh, Security Gateway Pros? Um, we're going to be setting this up using VRRP. One is on hot standby and the other one is active. Now, you might be thinking, um, sir, um, is, it, is, it, is it possible to register two Unify Security Gateways into one site? Okay, um, actually in Unify Network Controller, you can only register one Unify Security Gateway per site. So what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, duplicating the site into, uh, we're going to be creating this hotel into two sites. One is going to be managed by uh, the primary Unify Security Gateway and the other one, the secondary. So it's, it's an advanced topic in terms of Unify and VRRP, but suffice to say, um, there's going to be backup in terms of the uh, routers. Then after that one, we have um, two uh, internet connections. One is via PLDT, one, giga, one gigabit per second uh, internet connection. Um, don't worry, this is broadband, okay? It's not a leased line. Um, the, the internet requirements for a hotel is not that critical, unlike a call center or a large uh, multinational company or a large company. So this one GPPS internet connection is via a broadband connection, okay? So, but it's still fiber, okay? Um, it's called FiberBiz here in the Philippines, and uh, PLDT offers this one for uh, small and medium-sized enterprises. Then we're going to also have a secondary internet connection at 200 Mbps for redundancy purposes of our internet connection. And we have our unified network controller here at the top. Okay. Then um, we also have two unified XG switches, one primary and one secondary. We're going to be naming that unified XG 16 core A and core B. And all of our servers will be hooked up into this uh, core switches via one gigabit uh, copper cables. And uh, these two core switches will be connected to our Unified Security Gateway Pros using one gigabit uh, copper cables also. And then um, from there, um, if you see this yellow line here at the middle, okay, that is uh, for redundancy purposes. That's a fiber 10 gigabit um, multi-mode link between the two core switches to provide uh, redundancy uh, and uh, communication purposes. Then from there, um, we're going to be hook, uh, initializing all of our Unify 48-port uh, uh, PoE switches, 750 watts here. And we're going to be um, uh, connecting them with, uh, to our core switches, core switch A, and their secondary trunk ports will be connected to core switch B. So that if ever uh, something happens in our fiber optic cables for the primary connection, for example, this one. Um, for example, something goes wrong and this fiber cable becomes uh, defective or the fiber cable actually breaks. Um, this switch won't have uh, won't be isolated on the network. It will still have a connectivity by the secondary link going to our uh, core B switch. And then from there, we will already have a one gigabit CAT6 connections going to our access points, uh, CCTV cameras, and IP phones, and also uh, the computers uh, for the admin staff. So that's the uh, 
network topology or the network diagram for the solution. Um, stay tuned for future videos. Um, the, uh, the next video after this one is we're going to be hooking up already our Unified Security Gateway Pro and connecting it to the internet. So that's it, fellow IT engineers, for this uh, video, and I'll see you on the next lesson.